Hi Leo, welcome to your reading for year 2021. If you are new here and don't want to miss the daily dart readings, subscribe now by clicking the red button below the video. This is a general love reading, I also recommend you check your rising or moon sign reading. You can find the playlist for each sign here on this channel. Now let's start with the reading. First we'll do a 3 card spread, then a 9 card spread. So the first spread will be about general overview of your 2021 for you, Leo. Now let's shuffle first the cards five times. One. Two more shuffles. And the last one. So the first top three cards for Leo as an overall energy for year 2021. Leo, you have the Four of Pentacles in the reverse, the Hermit in the reverse and the Queen of Wands. Uh, this year will be a year of activities for you. I think you will be very passionate, even at work, even on your relationships. Uh, there will be a lot of passion there. Uh, you may chase, chase others, they may chase you. Also, I think you will uh, get over that uh, state of introspection, of uh, reflection, being lonely, because I see the Hermit card there in the reverse. Also, there's a small uh, possibility that you may get back with an X and uh, with the Four of Pentacles in the reverse I see you being more open and not those uh, this uh, closed off as you have been in uh, year 2020. Now we will do a nine card spread about the year 2021 where we'll see from uh, the main theme of, of the year till the potential outcome for the whole year. Now let's first shuffle uh, three more times the deck before we dive in the reading. And the last shuffle. So let's see what do we have for you, Leo, for year 2021. Keep in mind that there will be an extended at the end of the video. So the first card that we'll see is the main theme of the year. And let's see, two of pentacles in the reverse. I sense the year 2020 has been uh, a lot for you. Maybe you were being, were very busy on making a decision about someone or something. And... Uh, at the same time, I think you will be uh, giving up or dropping off everything that does not serve you anymore. So everything that is a waste in your time, you will not uh, take care of it anymore because it is a drain of energy for you. Now let's see what will affect you in your subconscious that you may not be aware in 2021. The King of Wands. There's a lot of energy there, a lot of passion for your 2021, dear Leo. And here you are as a fire sign with the King of Wands. I see you, uh, there are two scenarios here regarding to work. I see you very passionate about your work or your project and relating to connections, relationships, I see you being in a connection that is full of passion and energy and fire, as you can see here. And uh, I see you very mature in uh, your connection. Now, let's see, what will you carry from the past? What will you carry from year 2020? Two of Swords in the reverse. 
Yes, uh, this is related again with the Two of Pentacles uh, in the reverse. So you will uh, be ignoring giving the cold shoulder to every person that uh, was not worth it in 2020. I see you being closed off there, but at the same time you will still feel that uh, regret or disappointment from all those people in 2020 and before that didn't support you, uh, that didn't care about you. That will affect you uh, in one way or the other. And let's see what will be your goal or focus for this year. Nine of Cups. What a wonderful card to have, Leo. So your focus will be your uh, being happy. Being happy whatever. Uh, being happy whatever uh, the circumstances. This is a very good card to have because this is a person that is uh, emotionally uh, stable also is not uh, emotionally dependent on another person so it's a card of uh, maturity at the same time so nine of cups is also the cup is the card of uh, wish fulfillment also being good and feeling good and happy even by yourself that's a very good um, uh, frequency and energy to have and that is your focus your uh, your goal for your 2021. Now let's see what may happen in the first half of the year 2021 from January to uh, June. You have the sun in the reverse. Now let's see why the sun in the reverse there, please. Eight of Swords. Let's see two more cards. The High Priestess and the Queen of Wands. So yes, before you go to this uh, Queen of Wands, and I sense the second half of the year will be more, uh, more energetic than the first half, uh, the first half of uh, year 2021 will be a year when you still uh, will be in that transformation phase from the past year, leaving behind whatever uh, made you feel uh, regretful, disappointed, and uh, yes, you will still be in a phase of thinking a bit about what didn't work out and being more in tune with intuition. That's a very important part for this first half. You will be more in tune with your intuition. And uh, you will be looking for happiness inside yourself than outside. And that will be the first half. So I think uh, it will be a first six months of transformation, of reflection, and uh, uh, taking all those lessons from the past and uh, moving forward. Now let's see uh, how is your self-image overall five of ones in the reverse so you don't want any more drama you don't want any more conflicts you don't want to deal anymore with people that are full of drama uh, that have their ego boosted and are not real are not honest you want honesty you want a person that you feel deeply connected and that they in turn in turn have a the same passion and love uh, that you have for them. Now let's see what is the energy around you for the whole year that you may not even be aware of. Four of Pentacles. You may not be aware that you are being more mature, dear Leo, because I think I think you will be more open, not so closed off anymore. So we'll be in that state of I don't care if they like me or they don't. I don't care if things work out or not because in the end they will work out and it will be for my best because those are the lessons that you have taken from your 2020. Let's see what are your hopes and fears. The Empress, you want to expand, develop, whatever. Uh, if it is a work, 
a project you want to work as hard as you can and have benefits financial gains there and if it is relating to relationships you want a connection that on, not only is uh, meaningful deep and uh, have a purpose but uh, i sense you may want to create a family this year because the empress also is the card of pregnancies of creating families of a mutual real love so uh, that is uh, the ultimate uh, goal i think for your 2021 for you to even create a family maybe even have children and uh, yes let's see what is the overall now energy for the whole uh, year 2021 two of cups wouldn't it be uh, more beautiful than that i see you uh, being in a relationship in 2021 uh, leo here it is two of cups and here are the other cards nine of cups because you can go to two of cups i think uh, without nine of cups in terms of you can't attract uh, an honest and loving person if you don't love yourself first you want a relationship and here it is two of cups also you will be uh, giving up on all those people and uh, things that drain your energies and you will uh, leave space for this important person to come in your life so that is a very good card to have as the overall energy for the year 2021 so you will be in a couple uh, and I think uh, you will be also best friends because that is a card of uh, soulmate connection so Leo this is the first part of the reading for 2021 I already have recorded an extended reading for you for 2021 where we'll be answering the questions a quick overview for each month from January till December 2021 when will you meet the one which month or season what sign are they and their personality and also an overall advice for your 2021 please find the link of the extended video in the description box below it is available for a small price and you also support me if you buy it so thank you very much see you at the extended video